Hi, everybody. Lori here from My Favorite Things. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a, an adorable graduation project to share with you using products from the latest May release. I'm going to be starting with the Pop-Up Pals Stamp and Dynamic Set. This is so cute. It allows you to create these little critters. You can do a, a panda, a bunny, a kitty cat, and a bear. And it's also interactive. There's a little slider track that you can make the pal pop up. And there's a sentiment set that pairs well with it too. I think it's called pop-up phrases. I'm not using that today. I'm gonna take one of these little pop-up pals. I'm gonna do a bear. I'm gonna turn it into a little graduation bear since the graduation season is upon us. I don't know if you have anyone graduating in your life. We actually do. I think for the next several years, it's gonna be knowing all sorts of kids in our area that are friends that will be graduating. So this is a really cute one. It could be used for a younger age, but I think it can be used for any age. So there's also a little bow tie. I'm just die cutting all the little bear pieces. And then the stamp set allows you to add, there's a few different facial features you can pick from. And then there's also some stripes which I'm gonna to add to my bear. And you could do a different body if you wanna do like it's wearing a certain color shirt, stamp the stripes on it. Um, I just did some, this is kind of like a honey brown cardstock. I pulled it out of my stash. I don't even know what brand. You know what? I need to label my cardstock. It's all meshing together. I don't know what's what, but I stamped the stripes on it. And then now I picked one of the faces. There's I think four different ones. They're all cute. I'm um, using Versafine Onyx Black Ink. First, I'm gonna stamp the face, and then I'm gonna glue down the little bear nose part. But here's a little facial things you can pick from. They're all cute, any one of them. I chose the one on the bottom. And then, but I'm gonna do a little Bear Laird's glue and glue a little cream kind of bear nose. And I didn't move the stamp, out of place. I'm gonna re-stamp it again in the same position, but the little mouth part will go on that cream kind of circle. And that just adds some extra detail. Cute little bear face. And then, oh, there's also little rosy cheeks you can add. If you didn't wanna add these, you could blend. Blend a subtle little rosy cheek or add a rosy cheek with a Copic. You could also just skip a rosy cheek if it's not your cup of tea. You got lots of options. Okay, now moving on to this iconic grad dynamics die set. This one here is a staple. I don't think it'll ever go out of style. You get the classic iconic graduation cap. There's a diploma. It looks like a ribbon, like you could pin it on a shirt. There's also a grad word die. So I'm going to do a graduation cap out of red. I thought about doing black, but I thought, hey, red would pop. And then I did the little tassel out of some goldish yellow cardstock. And I'm just adhering all these pieces together. You could pop up that top part if you want to add more dimension. I'm going to be popping things up. Don't you worry. And so sometimes I got to decide when to pop and not to pop. Otherwise, the card will be five inches thick. Okay, gluing on the little tassel. And there's all the little extra details. The little button thingamajiggy on top of the tassel. I don't know what all this... Uh, graduation cap anatomy is called but you could you know what so many different fun colors of graduation caps you could do and there you have really cute and I, it just just so happens that it fits perfectly on that bear like it was meant to be I don't know if they planned it that way but hey I'm all about putting a graduation cap on a pop-up pal you know? And okay, so I'm just gluing this all together. I put the cap on first before I decided where I wanted to commit with the bare ears. Now, bare ears can be controversial. You want to put them up high. You want to put them down kind of more on the side. Uh, you know, a lot of, lot of debate on that one, but you just go with the gut. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so gluing on that second ear and this is just, and okay, last but not least, there's a bow tie. Forget about it. How cute is this bear ready to go for graduation? Now for the grad word die, I did the little backer shadow out of some uh, very soft gray. And then each one of the grad letters I'm going to do out of a different solid color cardstock. You don't have to make it so rainbow rainbow, but hey, I love it. If you want to coordinate this or customize it to the school colors of whoever's graduating. It's a great time to do that as well. But um, 
this would be an adorable little like kindergarten graduation card, but honestly, I don't think anyone ever outgrows an adorable graduation bear. I don't know how old you got to be to outgrow an adorable graduation bear. You never do. I'll just answer it for you. Okay, gluing on each one of the letters. Again, you could pop those up if you want to just get dimension up to the high heavens, which I will pop up the whole thing in the end. Uh, so I, believe me, I thought about popping up the letters. You could do a glue a couple together if you want to make them a little bit thicker. Uh, that's an option. So I'm gluing on a white panel onto a white card base, popping up the bear, popping up the grad, making sure it's all centered. The reason I make that extra white panel is I love a margin. I love to frame it. I feel like it draws your eye in towards the center and it just makes everything look neat and tidy. Okay, an extra little sub sentiment. This gra congratulations stamp set. I'm gonna emboss the yay you in white on a little scrap of black cardstock. So I'm gonna ink this up with Versamark ink and this is gonna be nestled right underneath the grad. And there's a lot of other sentiments in that congratulations stamp set that would work perfectly with that grad word die. So I poured on some white embossing powder and I'm gonna heat this with the heat gun. And then I'll just take my little mini guillotine trimmer. This thing, I, I use it, you'd be surprised. I use it on almost every card I make to trim out little sentiments. And it just works so good to get it nice and straight. Pop that up right underneath the grad. And there you have colorful, adorable. It just makes you smile, but it's festive and it's great for graduation. Make sure and check out the rest of the May release with My Favorite Things. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.